Hello, I'm Jim Snap, Superintendent of Brownsburg Community School Corporation. We had a very challenging day today at Brownsburg High School. I want you to know, as parents and community members, that we take all threats seriously and student safety is our top priority. I'd like to take you through the events of the last two days to give you a better understanding of what took place and our commitment to you as we move forward. So these are the series of events that started uh, Thursday, November 17th. A student reported the threat to Brownsburg High School Administration at the end of the school day at 2.48. By 4.15, the Brownsburg High School Administration had contacted the guardian and had the guardian and the student report back to the high school for a meeting. At 5.15, the Brownsburg Community School Corporation Police Department, joining the Brownsburg Police Department, report the students home to complete a search. At 5.45, a conference with the Brownsburg High School Administration to review all the information deemed it was not a credible threat. The student was notified not to return to school today on Friday, November the 18th. I'd like to pause because this is where communication from the school corporation should have went out to parents at Brownsburg High School of the threat and deeming it not credible. Had we communicated more effectively at this point in time, we believe some of the incidents during today may have been minimized, including concerns from our students. At 7.15 last night, social media post identifies the incorrect student making the post. And this is that post um, that talks about shooting at the high school. It's basically a communication between students that was posted to social media. That generates a great deal of conversation last night, starting at 7.15 through the remainder of the evening, Brownsburg Police Department, dispatch, and school officials, including myself, were notified of concerns by parents and community members in text messages, emails, and phone calls. This morning, the Brownsburg staff was notified that this was not a credible threat, and at 8.20, parents were notified this was not a credible threat in a communication through uh, the Brownsburg Community School Corporation. Unfortunately, at 11.04, a fake text message from Brownsburg High School was reposted to social media stating that the student, quote, did not act alone. As we can see here, it includes a bag search and those things. This was a false posting. That was followed very quickly by a false social media post stating that one person had, quote, been detained and, quote, five still roaming and something about happening around sea lunch. This created a, a great deal of concern with parents and students in the school. Um, and you can see from this post um, on Brownsburg Chatter, a lot was generated, a lot of that reached a number of parents, a number of students, and created additional concern. Uh, we requested and Brownsburg Police Department responded with additional officers for lunch. Um, that was to hopefully calm students that were there. Uh, in retrospect, we should have had more officer presence at the pickup and drop off as many parents were coming to school um, to pick up their students at that time. At 11.22, the Brownsburg High School principal updated staff regarding preparation for lunch, another follow-up at 11.50. And then at 12.19, all Brownsburg Community School Corporation parents received a second notification calling attention to the fake communication and this is that communication that went out to those parents. So we learned a great deal today and really need to emphasize our commitment to keep our students safe. We learned that we need to communicate promptly regarding threats, sharing as much information as we're permitted. Obviously, names, sometimes consequences, and those things cannot be shared. But certainly, we can be more prompt in sharing that information and the credibility behind that information with the co cooperation of parents understanding that not every detail can be shared. We can also communicate with parents, students, and staff throughout and during these situations. Um, throughout the day today, I think some communication at the high school would have uh, eased the minds of some of our students there and um, parents as well. And then lastly, focus our communication through sources that are authentic and easily verified as valid sources of communication with parents, such as emails and phone calls. What ramped up a great deal of concern throughout the day were those false communications, um, and quite honestly, it was something that we had not experienced before. 
If we can all rely on valid information from the school corporation and communicate that with our parents and then parents with students, we would be in a much better place. This is our commitment to you.